Hello, welcome to the news update on US television. I am Bina Hionofi. The news. Virologist in Nigeria on Wednesday expressed concern that there was a high risk of community transmission of Omicron variant of COVID-19 in the country. The virologist, including a professor of medical virology at the University of Meduguri, Mary Selim Baba, who stated this in a separate interview with a punch while reacting to detention of three cases of the Omicron variant in the country, called for community testing. The experts stated this as Canada placed travel bans on Nigeria, Egypt, and Malawi. The Nigerian Center for Disease Control had on Wednesday morning announced the discovery of three cases of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. The NCDC's detection of the three cases of Omicron variant came three days after Canada said it had detected cases of the variant in two travelers who recently visited Nigeria. A statement released by the NCDC Director General Ife Dayo Adetifa said that the strain was detected in three persons with travel history to South Africa. He said further that contact tracing and isolation has commenced. However, virologists faltered the proposed plan of the NCDC to embark on contact tracing following the announcement of the discovery of three cases of the Omicron variant. They called on the federal government to increase the vaccination rate in order to prevent more mutations. Governor-elect of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo, and the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, APGA, have been dragged to the state governorship election petitions tribunal. Speaking to reporters in Oka on Wednesday, Secretary of the Tribunal, Surajo Gusau, said 11 political parties that participated in the governorship election have challenged the election results. He said members of the three-man panel were expected to arrive in Anambra following the filing of the petitions, dismissing speculations that the panel will sit in Abuja. Gosal said some of the parties that have petitioned the tribunal, including the All Progressives Congress, APC, the Action Democratic Party, ADP, and the Accord Party. Joined in the petitions are APC candidate, Senator Andy Uba, ADP candidate, Prince Afam Ume Ezioke, and Accord Party, Dr. Godwin Maduka. The candidates in their petition asked the tribunal to cancel the election on the ground that the bimodal accreditation verification system, BVAS, was not in the Electoral Act. They also called for the nullification of the election on the ground of irregularities. The Independent National Electoral Commission has broken its silence on a letter written to it by the President, Muhammadu Buhari, over the contentious Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Buhari, who received the bill on November 19, has until December 19 to sign it or withhold his assent and communicate to the National Assembly his views and comments about it. But reacting to the President's letter on Wednesday, INEC National Commissioner and Chairman of its Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, said its position constitutionally, legally, and administratively was that the electoral management body is the end user of the electoral legal framework. It said that it was conventionally rational, strategic, and fundamental to seek the opinion of the commission and other critical agencies in the electoral matrix before a new legal framework becomes law. Okoye said that the president has requested the commission and other critical national institutions to revert with detailed and considered views indicating whether or not the president should assent to the bill. He said the commission will go through the bill and revert to the president within the time frame given to it. The presidency has berated the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, over its plan to sue the Nigerian government. In a statement on Wednesday by the presidential spokesman, Gaba Shehu said the allegations of human rights abuses and corruption leveled against the federal government are publicity stunts. 
Shehu described a continuous threat to drag the Buhari government to court as divisive, irresponsible, and ridiculous. He asked the organization to publicly sue the federal government in a competent court of law in the country and stop threatening the Buhari government with court actions. The presidential spokesman, however, asked Serap to disclose its source of funding to Nigerians despite being an organization that champions transparency and accountability. Uh, finally, Nigerians' external reserves fell by $610 million last month. Figures obtained for the Central Bank of Nigeria on Thursday revealed. The reserves dropped to $41.22 billion as of November 29th from $41.83 billion on October 29th. The CBN also disclosed that at the present level, the external reserves could meet the country's nine-month import demand. Figures obtained from the Apex Bank show that the reserves, which had gained $5 billion in October, returned a downward path in November. The reserves increased from $36.78 billion on September 30th to $41.83 billion as of October 29th. The governor of CBN, Godwin Eme Fele, said at the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigerians Dinner in Lagos said, supported by CBN demand management policy, in addition to support from the successful issuance of the $4 billion euro bond and the IMF, SDR, our external reserves today stands at over $41.4 billion, which is enough to support nine months of imports. It said as a result of the drop in foreign exchange supply arising from low earnings from the sale of crude oil. Well, this is the news update on US television. Ensure you follow us across our social media platforms on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. We have US TV Ninja. My name is Bina here, nothing. Thanks for watching.